Hey everybody, we're back in the shop today and I thought I'd answer some of your questions uh, that have been pretty prevalent on the, uh, the videos about ICF is people are like, why one over the other? Uh, the two biggest brands and the two that have been mentioned the most in these videos, it's Nudura and Foxblox. And I've worked with both a bunch. Uh, I've worked with Foxblox more lately and I'm getting ready to do a little uh, room addition at my own house with a, a bunch of Nudura that I just have left stockpiled and I'll get into both products pros and cons they're both very good products I like them both a lot I'll start with Nudura and I'll go over all the good stuff about them and a few things that I'm not wild about and uh, then we'll do Fox Blocks and I'll kind of give you a conclusion of what I think in the market today because like I said they're both great products I think one is more workable today but uh Anyway, I'll get into it now. If you get online and you're looking at both these blocks, they're bo they both have really good websites. They have a lot of good information on them. You'll see that Nudura likes to talk up a lot of their technological advances to make them easier to work with. The first one that they like to tout is called the Dura Fold technology. What that means is this is a six inch block of uh, Fox blocks. This is how a six inch block of Nudura will come and you unfold it. You put you, it's so it makes the same size block. And their theory on that is you're shipping less air by folding it up. You can put more on a truck, save on shipping, and it's it's lower freight. Nudura is made in Canada, so that's important because they're generally being shipped from further away. So that is the first thing. Then they have a technology called Dura Lock, which you've seen the webs on the Fox blocks that I've pulled out in other videos. The webs see that they hinge. And uh, that'll actually be one of the cons I'll talk about in a minute, but uh, is the way that that hinge is made. But the Dura Lock, I'm gonna get real close here because you see these little teeth on the uh, on the on the webs. When you snap the block together, it will lock. It'll lock like that, and it holds together. So each course is snapped into the other course. And it makes actually a clicking sound. It's very, it's a positive reinforcement that you've done it correctly. Um, and that's handy. So when you're doing a, when you're doing a set of walls on a foundation, you're not doing a mono pour, you can click them together pretty rapidly, which can be a little bit more efficient to lay them. Um, and so I'll show you, I'll, sh I'll, I'll pull some of these bales out right now and uh, I'll show you kind of how they stack. Okay, guys, so I opened up the bale, and I'm just and sorry they're a little bit dirty. They've been sitting out beside my shop for a while, and uh, they're not going to be quite as pretty because of that. You, once you, uh, you line them up, and hear that snap? Okay. So now, this entire row of blocks, without any clipping, is put together. You can, now, in the real world, we're putting, a, we're putting a course of rebar in here, so you don't just go right to your next block, but we'll unfold another one. You can throw it right up on top. You line it up. The one thing about these blocks, because they're hinged, see they weren't quite lining up. You have to have them exactly 90 degrees, the webs. If not, hear that click? That means they are stuck together. The whole wall put together with no clipping. That's super nice for a pro. The other things they talk about on their website is, uh, they call it Duramax technology. Each one of these is 18 inches tall. Fox blocks and almost every other panel you'll ever see is 16 inches tall. And they're only four feet long for shipping. They, they fit, they come on, they come on uh, cubes, which look like this here. The, um, the whole thing about the Duramax technology is that each piece of this is 12 square feet. So in theory, you're going faster. You're going in a horizontal course. I mean, I don't think it makes a ton of difference time-wise. The clicking with the, uh, with the Dura lock is, is nice, 
but when you get into more advanced pours like mono pours where you're pouring without a footer and there can be a lot of weight pulling down on them. See, I mean, I'll show you this right here. See, you can pull them back apart. Um, it, it takes a little bit of effort, but, and you snap them right back together. It didn't hurt anything, but if that happens during a pour, um, that's, that's bad. And so when we do a swimming pool or we're doing a mono pour, we don't want that. So I actually start to prefer the old style metal clips because they cannot do that. That will never happen. Um, one of the other things with the uh, folding technology, if I can pull one of these out real quick, let's see if I can get a corner out. It comes taped up. So the corner comes, and if you think about the geometry of a corner, it can't just unfold and then you're missing a web here. So it comes with a little rubber band in there and you just insert this. And once it snaps, now your corner's locked. It's actually a little bit smaller than the new Dura extended, or the, the, sorry, the Fox Box extended corners are a bigger corner. Um, so what you're gaining on the straights, you kind of lose them in the corners. But this is, one of the, this is one of the cons. If one of your guys, and you're not paying attention, or if you miss even one of those when you're sliding that in, you're going to have a guaranteed blowout in the corner. It's actually the only blowouts I've ever had doing ICF in my life have been corners on Nudura, people not paying 100% attention. And blowouts are really not a big deal with ICF. I might get into that in a little bit, but uh, you'll, you'll lose a chunk of the ICF. You have to put it back in, screw a piece of plywood over it, and just keep pouring. But it's a scary moment, and it's, it's a little distracting. And so that would be my first con. The second con, again, is the lack of clips, which I know I've seen some... Uh, price lists from some of the distributors where they have clips. So I don't know if they are now recommending clipping the bottom couple of rows like you do with Fox blocks or most of the other blocks. But if they are, I actually like that because I think you should clip them even though they have that nice snapping technology. Um, and so if, if, you, if you're gonna use Nudura, I would get clips and just use some around windows, doors, corners, and the bottom couple of rows. Give you a little more insurance, uh, belt and suspenders on that. The other thing they brag about on their website is a four-way reversible form. That means I can take this form, I can flip it over, I can turn it around, and I can flip it again, and it will snap in all four directions. The corners, it can be a left corner, then it can be a right corner. It can go this way, it can go this way. It's a four-way corner. So is Fox Blocks and pretty much every other block at this point. I think maybe New Dura pioneered that, you know, 15 or 20 years ago, but they all do that now, so I don't think that's really a pro or a con, it's just expected in the market for most of the good blocks. Um, so anyway, that's the, most of the pros. I'll get into the big cons. Other than the corner, I don't like the way you have to snap that in. The big con to me right now, it's why I stopped using them exclusively, this is the only form I used for the first five years I did ICF, is the cost. They're made in Canada. I don't know with the logistical costs or the resin shortage or what, over the last couple of years, I'd noticed the price kept ticking up and it was getting uncompetitive. I would talk to different guys at home shows, realizing that these were more in my market than other competing brands. And then Fox Blocks came to town. I tried them. I love them. And they're, you know, in my market, they're 30 to 40% less than Nudura. And I like them just as well. In fact, I like the clipping mechanism better. So, you know, they, they say, well, you're shipping air. The other cool thing, well, I'll get, into, I'll get into Fox Blocks in a minute about the pros, but that's the big con, and it's the con. Uh, they're great form. They're too expensive right now. Again, we're in a weird world. Everything's going up. Nudura just went up almost 20%. Fox Blocks hasn't gone up any. They're trying to go up 5% max in like June. I'm hoping it's five, but even if it's six or seven or whatever, it's still a lot less than the, I think, 17 and a half or 18% that this went up. And this was already significantly more expensive. We, did, we ran the numbers the other day. A guy sent me a quote off of YouTube. He uh, said, hey, that seems like a really low price. I got this new Dura quote. He sent it from his distributor. I ran apples to apples on the exact same number of square feet. And just apples to apples, it was three grand less on one house. I mean, it's three grand's real money. So while I do love the form and I love the technology, uh, I, I can't justify it personally right now. I'm about to do, I'm about to use up all my extra forms on a little basement at my own house. So I like it enough to use it. I just don't like it enough to buy it. So if that makes any sense. One other thing I'll mention real quick before I move over to Fox Blocks is this sort of like green color. 
And I've heard other guys talk about this, and I have noticed, I mean, I probably have visible tan lines from my sunglasses right now. When you're working around this, it is like being on a ski slopes or anywhere else. You can get snow burn. It, it's very bright and reflective. You get it from this too, but maybe less so because of that little bit of tint in the uh, form. This stuff is bright, and if you're out on a sunny day, you're going to roast, especially if you're pasty like me. You're going to need SPF a million if you can get it. It's very bright, and it'll burn you. But I'm going to get into the pros and cons of Fox Blocks for you real quick, and then that's going to be my video this week. Uh, like I said, I think next week we've got a pool finishing up I'm going to get to show you, and then after that I'm going to do my basement out of uh, Fox Blocks. My wife is actually going to help me. We're going to do kind of a DIY for all of you that have thought about building your own shell out of ICF. I'm going to show you just how easy that is. My wife has no construction want or experience or background or anything, and she's going to kick butt on it. It's going to be easy. So I'll get into this in a second. I'll, I'll be right back with Fox Blocks. Okay, guys, now I'm back with uh, the Fox Blocks side of the pros and cons. And like I said, the, the first pro, obviously, is right now in my market for a name brand form. There's a few mom and pops out there that are competitive price-wise, they're not lower, but they're by far the lowest price form I'm aware of right now that's been a name brand that's tested and true and you know what you're getting. Um, so let me just get into when you stack the blocks. Like I said, they come four foot by 16 inches. The, the corners are longer. But what you do when you lay your first course is you grab these little hardened steel clips and every horizontal joint, you just take two of them and we're gonna snap them in right here. You can come over here and look. So I'm going to snap that one, and I'm going to snap that one, okay? And now I'm going to grab, let's see, I'll do another corner just for giggles here, and I'll show you where you do. And if you buy Fox Blocks, it comes with a pretty awesome uh, booklet that shows you your clipping diagram so you can't mess up. See, there's no click on these, and you can, if I wanted to, I could just pick them right back out of there. However, I'm going to take another couple clips and in the corners we clip them vertically come come over here and I'll show you just look right in here so I'm gonna grab I'm gonna clip them right in the middle okay I'm gonna clip it here and I'm gonna clip it here okay so now it's got positive you know connection I'm gonna come over here I'm going to put one here okay no. Okay, now again, on Fox blocks, on these six inch forms, the first two rows you're supposed to connect every horizontal with two clips on the top. And then every vertical, the second web in. So I'm gonna go right here, I'm gonna clip it, I'm gonna just show you exactly how good this is. And like I said, this, is, this, takes, this takes minutes longer than that system. But again, when I'm doing a monoport or something an aggressive pour, a pour that's got a lot of moving parts. We're pouring the floor of a pool or the footer and the wall at the same time. You, you really have a lot of downforce pulling at first, the weight, and this is all together just like, just like that clip system, okay? Now, here's the difference. You saw me pull all that apart. I couldn't pull this apart if I wanted. You can see I get a little space in there, but I will never get those hardened steel clips to let go. Um, so you have better hold, way better hold. It's also very, I mean, it's just, this form feels more rigid and I think it feels more rigid because of this hinging mechanism. It just lets your forms have a little bit of play. And the other thing I didn't mention in the cons, if I, let's say I have a window that goes right here or a door opening or the top of the wall and I need to cut it right across this web. This has a steel hinge and I got to cut through that and it's a pain. This has no steel in it, it's all plastic. So, because it, it doesn't have that hinge, it, uh, it, it's very easy to rip. I've even seen, I've seen pro and con videos that like Nudura better and they still admit that ripping Nudura is not fun. So, that is, that's uh, one of the pros is I actually like the old style clips better than that. So, that's a pro. Uh, one of the other pros is, well, they, uh, one of the other pros is that they actually are made all over the United States and in about four places in Canada. And what they, you know, they say, well, yeah, we ship more air. They're, they're hollow. And so they, they, they bring them, kind of the mountain to Muhammad, they bring them closer to you. Uh, there's manufacturers, like I said, I'll post them right here. This is all the places in the U.S. 
and in Canada that they make them. So you're never going to be that far away. So shipping will be lower because it's closer. So that kind of negates some of the benefit of the folding form. And also if you're ordering, say you're building a hotel or an apartment where you're ordering many truckloads, they do make this form with the web to be inserted kind of like the corners of the new Dura where you don't get all that airship. You can order many more forms, you know, have one of your lower paid guys just sit there all day and clip them in. And it's probably cost effective on pools and on a single house. We order them ready to go. But if you had a huge job, they do, they do it that way probably to compete with the new Dura style of stacking them in tight. But again, we haven't, I haven't seen the need to try those, but that does exist. Um, but yeah, so those are the big pros other than the fact that, like I said, these are, you know, two to three dollars a square foot cheaper than these right now per square foot. You know, that's that, that's three, four thousand dollars on a two thousand square foot house easily. And I, like I said, I love New Dura. Probably would have never discovered Fox Blocks if they hadn't kept going up in price. The guy who used to sell these to me actually quit carrying them because they got more expensive. Now we have to buy them through a big distributor in Springfield. And the price went up even a little more when that happened. So they're just not competitive in Springfield right now. Uh, but hopefully, you know, as things settle down with COVID and supply chain, they get, they get better because I, I like using both forms. But anyway, so that's the main pros and cons on the, on the Fox Blocks. So obviously my conclusion is right now, Fox Blocks all the way because there's not enough cool little shtick things with the new Dura to justify really any more money, but especially not the amount of money that they're costing right now. Now, if you don't have Fox Blocks available in your area, they do drop ship. I mean, you can email me to my deal and I can call directly to the guys at Fox Blocks and they will drop ship them to you. So they're, they're pretty much available all over the country. Uh, but that is one thing I saw one guy talking about. Oh, you can buy them at Menards. Well, Menards are more expensive. They do mark them up like a retail markup, but through, you know, the way Fox Blocks distributes, we can get these to basically anybody for the, the prices I've talked about in the past, which is really good. So that's that's the gist of this uh, this video, guys. Um, I just wanted to address both because they are a different. The, you know, Nudura does a really good job of marketing. They're they're kind of uh, more gimmicky. I mean, they're cool things, but they're not you know end all be all answers. So anyway, uh, hope to see you guys next time. Next week we'll have a cool pool video and. Uh, also a uh, little basement with uh, with the new dura so we'll uh, we'll talk soon